that we're going to be talking about the dark truth of Dan Bilzerian and Ignite. Make sure you stay until the end so you don't miss out on some huge details on how Dan Bilzerian got exposed big time. You'll be absolutely shocked. Ignite's problem. It's time we talk about King Doofus himself, Dan Bilzerian, and his god awful company, Ignite, again, because things are much worse than I predicted that they would be, which is hard to imagine because I had some really rough things to say about this company and this guy, but. It seems, based on the latest financials they just published, it is much worse. We're now selling uh, CBD gummies. The orange ones are fucking amazing. They're up on the site. Um, check them out. 25% off everything. In fact, I'm about to show you they're literally out of cash again. So unless Mr. Belzerian is going to put another $25 million into the company, they're out of cash. Nothing is going to save this company apart from the Belzerians putting more cash into the sinking boat. The company Ignite was founded by Dan Bilzerian in 2017. This company specializes in CBD oils, yet they also sell vodka, water bottles, electronic cigarettes, and even clothing. It was meant to be a premium lifestyle brand, led by the king of luxury himself. This sounded like a simple premise. It sounded like a good one too, but it soon came under fire and had many claims of fraud behind it. The company reported a loss of $50 million in 2019, and just how they got into that kind of loss is a messy and shady story. To start with, we need to look behind the scenes of Ignite. The company itself made money, but that earning was not enough to keep it afloat, as they were not able to turn a profit. They mostly made their money through selling their stocks and through investors and loans, but their budgets and expenses are all out of proportions. Ignite's a brand available in Canada, the United States, Mexico, the UK, and several other countries. This worldwide domination should have led them somewhere, yet they were unable to keep up. To start with, look at how the company throws parties. CEO Dan Bilzerian obviously loves a good party, and he bought that love for partying into his company. Huge mistake, because each party can cost millions of dollars once you start to add up all the costs of models, the expensive alcohols, the houses, all of that stuff. And on top of all of that, Bilzerian is spending money on unnecessary things. Let's take a closer look on a recent issue. Dan Bilzerian fired Ignite's vice president under mysterious and unknown reasoning. Once he was let off, he gave a statement to the public about why he was fired. He claimed that Bilzerian got upset over an unapproved budget. The budget came with expenses for a $15,000 ping pong table and a $40,000 rock climbing wall. Obviously, these aren't necessary to the company's growth, but they also aren't cheap. This led to a lawsuit from the former vice president of Ignite after his unjust firing. These claims and statements on how the company was spending money got them into loads of trouble. The public began to distrust Dan and his company. They even found possible evidence that Dan's father, Paul Bilzerian, may be behind some of Ignite's financial decisions. Paul Bilzerian is a famous fraudster who was behind bars for 13 months following convictions of fraud. He claims he was innocent, but was soon found to be guilty. Because of this, he is no longer allowed to run a public business. That is why it is so shocking to find out that he allegedly takes part in meetings for Ignite and helps Dan make decisions. Could this be the main contributing factor as to why Ignite is such a fraudulent company? Instagram's king. Ever heard of Dan Bilzerian? If so, it may be because you've heard his name in a fraud case. But let's back up a bit. This guy's known as the king of Instagram, and his 32 million follower count may explain why. Also, if you look at his photos, you will see bikini-clad models, stacks and stacks of cash, expensive alcohols, yachts, getaways, all the staples of a life of extravagance. This may seem all right from a distance, but peel back the curtain and you get all the juicy secrets. Dan may be a poker-playing entrepreneur, but he was recently exposed for faking just about every aspect of his life. Shocking? It's just as terrible as it sounds. So are all of the posts on his Instagram fake? Well, no, that's real, but the way he developed his lifestyle is through fraudulent means. So let's take a look at that, shall we? Everywhere is the Ignite logo. Dan Bilzerian is a show off, and that's apparent on his Instagram account. He shows off everything. You can see stacks of money, tons of women, and unimaginable trips to far off lands. The world may seem to lay in Dan Bilzerian's hands, but he has proven to be faking quite a bit, including his own wealth. A lot of what he posts will include the Ignite logo. And that isn't just for promotional use. That's so he can use the company money and have an excuse for it. The fake nature of his life has caught up to him though, and many have become suspicious as to why all of these items have the Ignite logo on them. Guns, for example. Dan Bilzerian was in the military, and he loves guns, but why would a CBD company need guns? It doesn't make sense. The only logical explanation is that Dan Bilzerian is scamming money out of his own company. This is yet another fraudulent case against the guy. This can also be backed up by employees of the company. Sort of stepped forward with details of Dan Bilzerian's shadiness. An anonymous employee said, Ignite pays for everything models, events, yachts, 
Dan would just have it wrapped with the Ignite logo and all of a sudden it was an Ignite expense and he would send the bill. Pools, trampolines, his personal events that had nothing to do with the business. This statement shows just how far Dan Bilzerian is willing to push the limits. Company funds being used for his own ledger? Or is it just a way to keep his followers engaged in his posts? Using his company as an excuse, Dan Bilzerian rents out most things so that he can have it just long enough to make people believe that he bought it. This happens with his own home. He claims to have bought his huge mansion, yet in fact it turns out he was only renting it. Same goes for all the yachts that he loves to post about. He never bought any of them, he just rented them out, and he used the company's money to do it. Absolutely shady. Looking good for Instagram. Instagram is a crucial part for the company. It is also a place where company CEOs may show off their wealth and success. Take a look at Ignite CEO Dan Bilzerian's Instagram. The absurd, absolute luxury of it all. But how much of that can be trusted? Some have stepped forward and claimed that it is fake, all of it, and to understand it, let's take a look at the content that it holds. Those yachts? Well, those are actually just rentals. How about the models at the parties, photo shoots, and getaways? Dan Bilzerian paid them to be there. He spends a lot of money in order to seem wealthy on Instagram and social media, but his truth is coming out. The worst part is that the money may not have come from Dan Bilzerian's own wallet. Remember when we said that Ignite had lost tens of millions of dollars? Well, one of the reasons might be because Dan Bilzerian is using the company money to fund his luxurious, extravagant, and highly expensive lifestyle. He apparently spent company money for things like yacht rentals, and if that turns out to be true, that would be a huge blow for Ignite and maybe the nail in the coffin for the company. The company is predicted to go bankrupt and fail completely within the coming months, and that could be terrible for Dan Bilzerian's Instagram. He remains strong though, with apparent giveaways of his products that are worth hundreds of thousands of dollars. He even offered money to whoever could come up with a name for one of his books. He still seems to have the money to do things, but is the money honest? Is Dan Bilzerian a fraud? So, the biggest question you might be asking yourself is, is Dan Bilzerian a fraud? Let's recap with what we learned about him. He tends to lie. He's lied numerous times about his wealth. He stated that he bought a mansion for $64 million when in fact he was just renting it out for $200,000 a month. He shows off his apparent yachts when it turns out he's using the company money to rent those out instead of buying them. Does he actually own anything? It seems as though Dan Bilzerian rents out most things so that he has a chance to post about it on social media and make people believe that he has that wealth. The fact is that he spends more than he saves, and because of this, his company Ignite tanked. Through his lies and deceit, the fraud of his company, and the extremely lavish life he lives, it has become extremely easy to see past all the smoke and mirrors he has set up. The statements and claims have been made, the lawsuits have been filed, Dan Bilzerian cannot escape the fact that he fooled many people. Not only his Instagram followers, but also his paying customers and investors as well. With that much on the line, he really decided to risk it all for the chance of notoriety, and because of that, he has proven one thing about himself to be true. He is, in fact, a fake. While you're here, go ahead and click on one of these videos on your screen. See you there.